hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today I'm doing a review of Dr. Shoreman's biology. Um, this is at the website diveintomath.com. Dr. Shoreman, we've already done a review on his um, math curriculum. I will put a link up top to that. Um, and today we are going to be covering Dr. Shorman's biology. This video is not sponsored in any way. However, this is a product we absolutely love. So um, this is just something that we've been using this year. And quite frankly, I wish that we've always been using this product. So I'm gonna go through and just show you um, what we like about it, how we use it, how it can work in a co-op, how it can work if you're just doing science at your house, um, all of the things. But before we get started, I kind of want to start with just um, very quickly explaining that one of the main things that I really like about this course is that it works well if you are a parent that does not really want to teach science or you feel like maybe this isn't an area of expertise for you, you really do want an expert to teach your child, it works really great for that um, because he is a PhD and um, so he is really, really, really good. He has a Christian worldview and very strong in math and science and is gifted at explaining these harder topics. However, if you are good in science and that's an area that you excel in, it still works because you can do the science alongside, you can lead labs. That is um, actually one of the areas that I enjoy teaching. So what I have done with this, because this is an area that I do have a background in, science and math, um, what I have done is I am leading our co-op. We've been using um, this biology course in co-op and I will just lead the labs, kind of guide the kids along while we watch the video labs. So I don't, don't necessarily have to teach it because we have an expert teacher, but I can still be hands-on with the kids and kind of throw in little tidbits here and there as far as personal experience with dissections or using the microscope and that kind of thing. So anyway, I wanna go ahead and just kind of jump right in to showing you what the class looks like um, online and to show you kind of how we like it. I'll also show you a lab that we did today, which was a fish dissection. Okay, so this is the Shoreman website. This is diveintomath.com and we are going to go to science at the top here. All right, and so this shows you, um, so this review is going to be on Shoreman biology, but I do want to show you what is available as far as the science products that they have. So they're self-paced, um, each science course has 32 weeks and it also has assignments in here. It tells them what to do. I'll show you that up close. It also has digital flashcards, internet textbook, or you can also use a physical textbook if you want to. It tells you if you want to use a physical textbook how to do that. However, it's absolutely not needed. He has textbook material within this, so there would really be no need to use a secondary textbook with this program. Um, expert instruction. Um, he actually has a PhD and um, then lesson reviews and quarterly exams. It auto grades um, and then he also does video labs as well. Um, you also can get a workbook lab manual so it's printable and it's included with the course and then also you have the ability to, um, to do Q&A, email support with Dr. Shorman and you also can get a lab kit. So we have used a lab kit for biology and it's turned out really great. Just wanna go over the, the recommended course sequence here. They do also talk about CLEP and AP exams that you can do after the course. So for seventh and eighth grade, um, they recommend dive earth science and they recommend that the child is in pre-algebra or higher at that point. And then for eighth and ninth grade, they recommend dive integrated chemistry and physics. This would be considered a physical science class and they recommend taking algebra one or higher in that course. Then for ninth or 10th grade, they recommend dive biology um, and it's not recommended, but um, I mean, it's not required, but it is recommended that you have taken a physical science course. Now, Katie, at this point, she actually, the progression that she did is she did in eighth grade a um, physical science. In ninth grade, she did the labs for the physical science because she was still in um, classical conversations challenge program at that point. 
She also did an earth science course in ninth grade. Then um, they have chemistry. Katie will be taking this next year in 11th grade. And then they have, um, they have dye for um, Saxon physics for 11th or 12th. 12th grade. So they also will let you know here if you wanted to take either an AP exam or a CLEP exam that this course goes well with the AP biology exam or the CLEP biology exam and then if their chemistry matches up with AP chemistry and CLEP chemistry. The dive biology class is very in-depth. It is really more like an AP biology with as far as the labs and things like that and I'll go through that in just a minute. But it is very detailed and it has, like if you're gonna compare this to like an Apologia biology, the labs are, there's more. There's just more detail and there's more. It's more like an AP course. Now he cannot give AP credit because you have to be approved for that and generally um, the religious, you know, Christian-based worldview classes are not approved. But you can go and register and take the AP biology exam after taking this course. And then if you pass the exam, you would need to know you're doing this ahead of time to sit for the exam. If you pass the exam, you can put on the transcript that, um, you know, the student passed AP biology exam. So that's, you can't call an AP course, but you can say that they passed the AP biology exam. All right, so just to cover the pricing and everything like that, um, so this is a self-paced e-learning course for dive biology. That's what Katie's been doing. Um, this kind of shows you what it looks like on the screen. This is the lab kit that we bought. We did this as a co-op, so we are doing the hands-on labs together. Um, right now, of course, we're in quarantine, so everyone's kind of doing them on the online labs, and then Katie and I are doing them hands-on still at our house. The price for these is $65.99, and you really don't need to buy anything else with it unless you want to do hands-on labs, in which case you need to buy a lab kit, or you can go through and um, you could um, just kind of piecemeal the labs that you wanted to do and that kind of thing. Okay, this is the lab workbook and you can just print this because it is available to print. It's included in your course once you buy the course or if you just want one that's been like bound and all that kind of stuff, then you can pay $32.99 and they will um, send you a bound copy of that. But this gives you all the different labs that you're going to do. Um, some of these are AP labs and the ones that have asterisks, it will show you there that it fulfills an AP um, requirement. So um, these are the different labs that they're doing. Um, so there's a good many dissections here. Um, let's see, we get down. There's a lot of microscope labs and then they get down to the dissection. So they do an earthworm dissection a crawfish dissection, frog, fish, and then a fetal pig as far as the dissections. There's a total of 28 labs. So this is biology. You have a main menu here on the left. Everything is by week. So this is information um, to the parent. Just There's a getting started video. You can print the lab workbook. There's ha hands-on lab instructions. If you're going to do the lab along with Dr. Sharman, which I highly recommend, I feel like you get a whole lot more out of it. You don't have to do it, but it's, I think it's just really good. Week 23, this is the lab that we did today, I believe. Let's see if this is the fish, yeah. Okay, so Katie's actually on week 30. Um, that's the one she's working through this week. However, we went back in time and we're doing the lab for week 23 because that's one of those that we would have done in our co-op and we would have done this as a group, but we've kind of had to make some adjustments because of quarantine and all of that kind of stuff. And so the other people in the co-op decided just to do the video lecture. Um, Katie was doing taking this for honor, so she needed to do hands-on. And so we went ahead and did that today. I'll show some footage of that, but first I wanna go ahead and just kind of show you what this week looks like. So for day one, there was vocabulary and reading. And again, here's a link to the Quizlet cards. Um, so it's this is all going to be um, dealing with fish and different things like that. Remember, if you click on it, it will show you the definition. Okay. And so on day one, she would study that. She has actually done all of this before. Um, then there's a reading assignment here. You just click on this. Then there's a video that you can watch. Um, 
and so this was day one then day two there's a video lecture and then some review questions it says here that there's no lecture but instead you're going to print this out and you're going to complete the diagrams and then you want to complete these review questions these are the review questions are not considered a test or a quiz they are supposed to be open book kind of like studying to get yourself ready for a test or a quiz so all right so this is day three there's a facts the quiz and then they also have the lab on day three some of the weeks will have four days and some of the weeks will have three so this is the lab video when you click on that it plays the video and then you can watch it he's going to story activity 21 you'll dissect the He's going to start by showing you the lab workbook, and he's just going to go through the entire lab, which I'm getting ready to show you. Um, but he will also stop and have you fill in the workbook as you go. So one of the things that I really, really like about this course is that whenever he does dissections, you get up close um, on the video so that you can see um, like what he's doing here. He's been using specimens that are not preserved, like what we get from the lab supply store. So as a consequence of that, the specimens are really colorful and it's really easy to see things. So I'll give you an example. He does label everything on the screen. Um, this is an example of filling in. He'll, he'll give them a few minutes to fill in their workbook and then he'll put the answers up on the screen. But because of the fact that this isn't preserved, the specimen on the screen does not look gray. It's in, it's in full color. So it just makes it really easy to see the different things that you're trying to find because of the fact that it's in color. Um, when you have your own specimens that you've ordered from a supply store, everything kind of looks gray and kind of all looks the same color because it has been preserved. Okay, so this is the same lab that I just showed you, and this is what we did today. I was just kind of helping Katie go through this lab. It was a fish dissection. So we kind of set up our kitchen. We'll put a disposable tablecloth over the counter. We use a styrofoam plate, and we do have a dissection kit that we use. We'll set up a computer so that we can listen and follow along with what he's doing. And um, if we do this as a co-op, we have all the kids kind of gathered around, and then we also have a TV set up with the computer attached to it so that we have a better, a bigger screen that everybody can see. So we have really enjoyed using dive biology. It's just been a really easy way to tackle a harder subject, especially when you're trying to figure out how to do labs at your house and things like this. It just kind of walks you through it from beginning to end. Um, and it's just a great way, even if you want to do it as a co-op, it just works so well either to do it by yourself or in a co-op setting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.